Right, I've got something quite exciting in this parcel, but before I open it, I need to give you a bit of context. Me and Becky really like watching quiz shows, and there's a quiz show in the UK called Richard Osman's House of Games. It's a show hosted by this big fella called Richard Osman, where he's joined by four celebrities each week, and they do fun little games that are sometimes trivia-based, sometimes memory-based, whatever, whatever. Well, as you can see, me and Becky have watched every episode of this since it first launched in 2017. Well, on one of the particular shows, a guy called Martin Lewis was on, who's like a really clever finance guy, known for helping people out with their money and stuff. Well, each episode, they give away House of Games prizes to the winner of that episode. And in this particular episode, Martin Lewis won a House of Games onesie. Maybe now you start to see where this is going. Martin Lewis decided that he would auction his House of Games onesie for charity. And yes, I think you've worked it out. I'm the guy that bought the onesie. <laughs> so I thought in this video, seeing as no one will invite me onto any of these quiz shows, I'm going to open the onesie, I'm going to sit in it for an entire video, and I'm going to answer a bunch of incrementally more difficult trivia questions. So, let's open it up. <laughs> Oh my god. PewDiePie's 100 million play button has got nothing on an official House of Games onesie that has been touched by Martin Lewis. This- <laughs> I cannot believe it. It's so soft. I've watched someone win one of these every week for the last five years and now it is mine. Oh my god, wait! Won by Martin Lewis! <laughs> This is so cool. All right, let's take this stupid Spider-Man hoodie off. I don't need this anymore. Does it still smell like you, Martin? Scentless. You strike me as a scentless person, Martin. Wow. Well, I am truly honored. This is the best day of my life. Let's answer some quiz questions. I wanted to start off with something which I'm pretty good at, which is flags. So let's play Flag Maniac. Here we go. Senegal. Oh, that's quite a hard one to begin with. Uh, that is this one up here. Are they all gonna be that tricky? Poland. That is easier. Right, let's see if we can get a perfect 15 out of 15. Russia is up here. We've got Peru, which is this one. Next up, what is it? Panama. That's this one. They're quite tricky, these. Ukraine, that's quite a straightforward one. Followed by Romania, which is down here. And we are about halfway. Hong Kong, ooh, I think that's that one. Thank goodness for that. Next is Kenya, which is up here. Cool flag, Kenya. Rwanda, uh, uh, that's that one. Cool, <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. Uh, number 11, Zambia is this one. And next is Papua New Guinea, which is up here. I want to name all the other flags for you, but oh, God, Nauru. Ooh, it's this one. Right, make things even more difficult for these last few. Few. That is Nauru. That is Monaco, I think. That is Bahrain. And then that's Montenegro. Probably anyway. But this is Nauru? Yes, it is. Next one, number 14, Georgia. Right, so this one's Georgia. This one is Ghana. That's Moldova. And then that is Guyana, I think, anyway. Georgia. Excellent. And then the final one, Samoa. Samoa is up here. This is Uzbekistan, I think. That one is... I don't actually know. This one's Estonia, and then that one has got me beat. Please let me know in the comments what you think that is. Let's click some more for now. Oh! Oh, I got it wrong! We got all of them apart from Samoa. Oh, I'm a fool. Either way, Richard Osman, if you're watching, look how good I am at flags. Not Samoa, though, apparently. Not gonna lie, it's stressing me out that I didn't get a perfect score, so I am gonna very quickly do it again. Okay, that's Argentina. <laughs> then we've got Germany, Pakistan, Palestine, Uganda, Lithuania, Malaysia, Bulgaria. Andorra, Dominica, Zambia, Sierra Leone, uh, this one, yep, Maldives, and finally, Gambia. All right, we got 15 out of 15. I can once again sleep at night. Okay, next I'm going to do something that I am not good at, and that is maths. So I'm sure I'm about to embarrass myself this time. Play a name. Well, Turd Boy 420, obviously. Uh, I'd like to just practice for now. Okay, Turd Boy's playing with Amanda. Oh my god, uh, two times one. Which do I do first? It's, it's nine. <laughs> Four plus seven. Well, that is 11. Minus Minus four, that is seven. Thank goodness for that. God, I'm stressed. <laughs> Come on, Amanda, keep up. Three times eight is uh, eight, 16, 24, minus three is 23. That's not there. 27, 20. I got that one wrong. I don't even know how. Three plus nine is 12. Uh, minus one is 11. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what I'm doing here. Eight times nine is... Uh, seven, seven T, so, let's just click one, damn it. <laughs> uh, Richard Osmond, just skip over this bit, cheers. Five plus seven, five. Yes, okay, thank goodness for that. 70 minus one, 69. Thank goodness that one was a bit easier. When does this end? I'm so stressed. Five times one, minus 10 is, um, minus five, yeah. We're catching back up. Turd boy could do this, come on. Four times seven, minus three. Uh, four times seven is 28, minus three is 25. Nice. Right, in the end, I got 26%. I got more than 26%, surely. Surely I got at least 50%. Get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
time for a change of pace. Our final quiz today. Who wants to be a millionaire? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there are 15 questions. If I get them all, I get a million pounds. Question one is, of course, easy, but they will get harder. What are made and repaired by a cobbler? That is shoes. That's 100 pounds. Excellent stuff. For 200 pounds, in the medical profession, what do the initials GP stand for? That is general practitioner, please, Chris Tarrant. Thank you very much. What is the smallest country in the world? Oh, my God. A perfect question for me. That is Vatican City. <laughs> And now, in what year was the first iPhone released? I think it was 2007. I'm gonna say 2007. Yeah, I'm going for it. It's gotta be 2007. I don't think I had a smartphone till 2013, but I did get an iPad in 2012, I think. And before that, I was just using the slidey phone. But there were people in my school that had iPhones, so yeah, I'm gonna say 2007. <gasps> Oh, thank God. Right, we're playing for big money now. Oh, God. Which airport is the opening scene of Love Actually set in? I don't know. I did watch Love Actually for the first time this December. All I know is it was just one of the London airports. And each of these are the four London airports, so that doesn't really help. Oh, it's got to be Heathrow or Gatwick, because I think it was probably one of the more, like, international ones, you know? Oh, Damn, where's my lifelines? I want to call Becky so she can go on Netflix quickly and find out. Wait, maybe I should just ring her. Hello, Becky. Hello. Hello, Becky. This is Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We've got Jack here and he's playing for a oh, thousand pounds, but he's getting a little bit stuck. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> the next voice you hear will be Jack, all right? Okay. Uh, hi, Becky. Um, which airport is the opening scene of Love Actually set in? Is it Heathrow, Gatwick, Luton, or Stansted? You, you, you can type it into Google as well. Oh, can I? There's no adjudicator there, just type it in quick. Which airport? Oh my god, I'm so stressed! Uh, 10, 9, uh, 8, uh, Heathrow! Heathrow! Alright, thank you very much, Becky, thanks so much. Good luck! Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, Chris, I'd like to go with Heathrow, final answer. Yes! Plus yellow, why are we only on £2,000? What colour were the pyramids of Giza originally? Oh, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? <laughs> right, these days, they're orange, I would say, aren't they? So surely they must have been originally white. And it's just, they've slowly gone orange. Because they're not gonna have been pink or blue, are they? We can discount blue. I'm gonna go with white. Final answer. Thank God. <laughs> Which Shakespeare play included the famous stage direction, Exit Pursued by a Bear? Oh. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Generally, I'm just going to be guessing. I really have absolutely no idea on Exit Pursued by a Bear. Why is this just £4,000? I'm sure the money goes up quicker than this. If I was playing for real, I'd potentially have to take the money at this point. How boring is that? I'll go with a winter's tail. Maybe there was a bear running about in the woods or something. Should we go with that? Okay, I'm prepared for this to be wrong. Let's go for it. Oh, <laughs> 8,000 pound. What is the most sold flavor of Walker's crisps? My favorite is prawn cocktail, if you're wondering. But I would assume salt and vinegar is probably a bit more mainstream. Then there's ready salted and cheese and onion. If cheese and onion is your favorite, I'd judge you quite significantly. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say salt and vinegar, please. <sighs> oh, I'm still playing. Fair enough. That's fine then. Which city will host the 2028 Olympic Games? Is that far in advance they work it out. Right, well, it was Tokyo recently, wasn't it? Beijing, I can remember in my lifetime. I don't ever remember Paris or Los Angeles, so I think I'll go with Paris. Oh, it's Los Angeles, but hey, doesn't matter. It just keeps going up anyway, it turns out. But anyway, let's just play for fun on these final five questions. 32 grand. Duroc, Berkshire, and Mangalika are breeds of which farmyard animal? Becky might have known this one. I've already used my lifeline. Let's try sheep, please. Ah. Oh. All right, no problem. Which singer has a tattoo of Heinz tomato ketchup on his arm? Oh, uh, that's probably Ed Sheeran, because he did an advert, didn't he? Okay, yes, nice. How many million miles away is the sun from the earth? It's a difficult question for some serious money. It makes sense. I don't know. I reckon it's quite a long way, though. So let's go with 136. 93. What was the only painting sold by Vincent van Gogh during his lifetime? Ooh. What are you doing, Kong? I'm trying to play who wants to be a millionaire and you're walking about. God, Kong, you can be my phone a friend. I think he sold it to the person that owned the house. So based on that, I'm going to go the yellow house. All right, no worries, that's fine. Who won the first ever Football World Cup? I think I know that one. I'm pretty sure it's actually Uruguay. Yes! Who was the youngest British Prime Minister? David Cameron, Tony Blair, William Pitt the Younger, or William Cavendish? Okay, I'm going to discount the two recent ones, and I'm going to say it's either B or D. I mean, he's literally called the Younger, and this is for the million pound question. So surely they're trying to bait me there. I'm going to go William, based on that. This is it, for a million pounds. Nothing else matters. It's all or nothing. Ladies and gentlemen...
Oh. So close, but you still managed to bag 32 grand. Well, not bad at all. On that note, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks to Becky for being my phone friend. She's very helpful. And Richard Osman, if you're watching this video, please let me come on House of Games. That has been my dream for a long time. Look, I'll do anything. I'll wear this for all five shows. Whatever it takes, okay? Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. <laughs>